Howdy, fellows. I bring some good news to you guys. Today, we are going to talk about ICP, its recent price action, a couple of news, and of course, we are going to cover a couple of charts for altcoins and a bit of a BTC. Data, your support is important to me, like my video, share it, and now, without any further ado, let's dive into ICP itself. So as we can see over here, ICP is currently trading at $13.09, well, eight as we speak, and is currently experiencing a leg down of 5.3, which I don't believe is bad, but I'm going to explain very soon. First of all, let's have a look at the market cap. Market cap is currently sitting at $6 billion and 24 hour trading volume is sitting at $1,736 million. So obviously if we are going to look at that 24 hour time frame, that is not really good, right? However, if we are going to look at this metric over here, that's basically showing us what ICP did this month already. So I don't really think that this little leg down is very, very bad because as of now, ICP is currently sitting at 14.7% green. So I believe that is okay for now, but I'm going to show you the chart very soon. Let's have a look at this piece of news. First of all, so Internet Computer by Definity Foundation is the gold partner of the Web3 Banking Symposium in Geneva, Switzerland. So as we can see over here, another conference partner is going to happen on March 6th. So that's pretty much what around two and a half, three weeks away from now. And I do believe that's big. Every single day, almost every single day we have these meetups, we have, we have these events and conferences for ICP. In my opinion, that is very good because obviously that is pretty much showing ICP to the world, right? All of these conferences. So good job on definitely. And now let's have a look at this piece of news over here. So just announced ETH Denver bounty. So extending Ethereum with ICP, built cross-chain dApps as possible on ICP. So that is very good for ICP. Obviously that is huge if there is integration between ICP and Ethereum. So now let's have a look at the ICP being staked. So in terms of ICP is being staked we are currently experiencing 47.8. So as we can see over here, we have an increase of 0.1% ever since I updated you guys two days ago about ICP. So let's have a look. Now, as we can see over here, nobody's selling ICP. So just in case, if you'll be thinking and seeing that little pullback, don't you worry because people that are holding bigger chunks of ICP are not selling at all. Nothing really has changed over here in the last two days. We had pretty much one more holder that hold over ICP. So as per this, that is okay. And now let's have a look at DFI, Llama. So in terms of the TVL, in terms of DFI, obviously is currently sitting at $116 million. As we can see over here, the core developers growth is great. And if it comes to core developers, let me zoom that in. And we are sitting at around 105, I would say over here, it doesn't really show the exact date, but obviously that month is still being printed. So that's all right. And now finally, let's have a look at the chart. So what is happening over here? That is a daily chart. So as we can see over here, ICP was pretty much printing these higher highs over here, which is obviously great. But now we have this push down for ICP, which obviously might scare a lot of people. However, I still do have the same opinion as I had. And I do believe that we are going to see that breakout towards the upside. However, bear in mind that I could be wrong. That isn't financial advice. And why do I think that way? First of all, BTC is being pushed back, right? Is being rejected from that resistance level of roughly 52,370. That leads us back to the previous bull cycle. So obviously that is very important resistance level over here for BTC. However, that's on the weekly, right? If we are going to switch to daily, as we can see over here, a similar case was pretty much over here, right? We had a touch of resistance for BTC and then a little bit of sideways price action and then the breakout, right? then this head and shoulder pattern, and then obviously we broke out. So what do I think might happen with BTC? We are probably going to see a little bit of sideways price action before the halving, and then we are going to see a bit of a pump for BTC, of course, especially after halving. So obviously ICP is responding to that BTC price action. And we could see a little bit of dip, perhaps even to $11 or 12. And why do I still think it's bullish, right? Because if we are going to look at this chart over here, that's render. If you are guys following my channel closely, I updated you on render a while ago in terms of that pattern. So this is exactly what render did. Very similar pattern to ICP, right? We saw that dump over here and exiting from that bullish triangle. And then we saw a huge breakout above that resistance level for render. So that's the reason pretty much. I think that this pullback is nothing. That is just a response to the price action of a BTC. And I still do think that we are going to see around $24 ICP once we are going to see a little bit of more bullish momentum for ABTC. But all right, let's first of all, look at this data over here. So if we are going to see over here, we have huge inflows in terms of BTC. So as of February 16th, 15th, and 14th, we had 6,000 over 6,000 BTC. We had 9,000 BTC and 6,000 BTC. These are big numbers. 
obviously we have a big number of inflows in terms of money to BTC. And of course we have some taken profits right on the way. There are also traders as well, but bear in mind that this might be just the beginning for BTC and of course for ICP. So let's have a look at this altcoin chart over here. Not only has the Gaussian channel changed from red to green after almost four years, but altcoins have now also broken through the previous resistance with the last weekly close. So shout outs to El Crypto Prof on X. And now let's have a look over here. As we can see over here in the previous bull cycle, this is exactly where we are at, right? And after that, we saw that huge parabola. So we could see a little bit of a pullback that we are potentially expecting now. And then after that, we are going to see a parabola in my opinion. And now let's have a look at that chart if the previous one wasn't enough. So let's have a look at the 2016 bull cycle. As we can see over here, once we get off that wake off accumulation, we have exited phase D, then we have entered phase E. And obviously we saw a huge parabola for alts, exactly the same case over here in 2020, right? We have exited that wake off accumulation, a little bit of pullback and exited from phase D and entered phase E and then parabola. So now we've just exited phase D and we are entering phase E, which is going to be a parabola. So obviously, even if we are going to see a pullback, okay, whatever, I don't really care because that's pretty much obvious what is going to happen in the next months and weeks. So let's have a look at that possible target over here for altcoins. If we are going to follow that trend line that leads us back to 2018 previous bull cycle. As we can see over here, we've got 350 billion, then 1 trillion. And now based on that trend line, the target will be around $4 trillion. So you can just imagine how much money is going to fly into ICP. And now let's have a look at this chart over here. That target is a little bit bullish, but that could happen. Now, if we are going to do 10X based on pretty much similarity to the previous bull cycle on the market cap of all coins, we could expect around a billion market cap for olds. That is very bullish. And of course, shout out to Stock Money Lizards on X. Let's stop here for now. Thanks for watching my video. Keep supporting my channel. See you in my next video.